Alternative Dispute Resolution ADR, in the context of human resources management. Definition. Alternative Dispute Resolution ADR, in the realm of human resources management refers to a range of processes and techniques designed to resolve workplace conflicts and disputes outside of formal litigation or traditional court proceedings. ADR methods provide a structured and facilitated environment for parties involved in conflicts, such as employees, employers, or unions, to engage in discussions, negotiations, and problem-solving, with the goal of achieving mutually acceptable resolutions and maintaining a harmonious work environment. Elaboration in Common Words Think of ADR as a set of tools that organizations use to solve problems among employees without going to court. It's like bringing in a mediator or a referee to help coworkers who are having a disagreement find a fair solution. Examples Mediation Imagine two employees, Alex and Taylor, who have a dispute over a project's credit. They're both frustrated and unable to agree. A HR manager suggests mediation. A neutral mediator sits down with them, listens to both sides, and helps them find common ground. They end up sharing credit and finishing the project together. Arbitration Suppose an employee, Jordan, feels they were unfairly dismissed by their employer. Instead of going to court, they agree to arbitration. An arbitrator, like a private judge, hears both sides and makes a decision. Jordan and the company accept the arbitrator's decision as final. Which disputes can be settled by alternative dispute resolution? ADR can be used to settle a wide range of workplace disputes, including conflicts over employment terms, compensation, harassment, discrimination, working conditions, and interpersonal issues. It's particularly effective when both parties are willing to engage in open dialogue and seek collaborative solutions. Advantages and Disadvantages of Alternative Dispute Resolution Advantages Speed, ADR processes are usually quicker than going to court, saving time and resources. Cost-effective, ADR often involves fewer legal fees and expenses compared to litigation. Confidentiality, disputes resolved through ADR are usually confidential, protecting parties' privacy. Preservation of relationships, ADR aims to maintain working relationships as parties work together to find solutions. Flexibility, parties can tailor the process to suit their needs, making it more adaptable. Disadvantages. Lack of legal precedent, decisions made in ADR might not create legal precedents for future cases. Unenforceability, sometimes parties may not adhere to the outcomes as they would with a court order. Imbalance of power, in some cases, there could be a power imbalance between parties affecting the fairness of the process. Limited judicial review, it might be challenging to appeal decisions made through ADR. Importance of Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR ADR is crucial for maintaining a harmonious workplace. Workplace conflicts, if not resolved swiftly and fairly, can escalate, leading to decreased employee morale, productivity, and even legal battles. ADR provides a structured way to address conflicts, improve communication, and preserve a positive working environment. Types of Alternative Dispute Resolution That Are Most Common The most common types of ADR methods include Mediation, a neutral third party helps parties reach a mutually acceptable agreement. Arbitration, a neutral arbitrator listens to both sides and makes a binding decision. Negotiation, parties communicate directly to find a resolution without third party intervention. Conciliation, a conciliator assists parties in reaching an agreement, but the decision isn't binding. Collaborative law, parties and their lawyers work together to find a solution outside of court. Adopting Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR, in the context of human resources management involves a systematic approach to integrating ADR methods into your organization's conflict resolution strategies. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to adopt ADR effectively. Assessment and Planning Identify the types of disputes commonly arising in your workplace. Determine the scope and objectives of implementing ADR. 
set clear goals such as reducing litigation costs, improving employee morale, and maintaining a positive work environment. Awareness and training. Educate your HR team and employees about ADR methods, their benefits, and how they work. Train HR personnel in ADR techniques to effectively facilitate the resolution process. Ensure that employees understand their rights and responsibilities within the ADR framework. Policy integration. Develop a clear ADR policy that outlines the organization's commitment to using ADR for conflict resolution. Integrate the ADR policy into your organization's existing HR policies and procedures. Communicate the ADR policy to all employees and stakeholders. Communication. Encourage open communication among employees to address conflicts at an early stage. Promote the use of informal communication channels to resolve minor disputes before they escalate. Selection of ADR methods. Choose the most appropriate ADR methods for different types of disputes. For example, mediation for interpersonal conflicts and arbitration for contractual disputes. Consider the preferences of the parties involved and the nature of the conflict when selecting ADR methods. Engagement and consent. Ensure that all parties involved in a dispute voluntarily agree to engage in the chosen ADR process. Explain the ADR process, its benefits, and the roles of each party involved. Neutral third parties. If using mediation or arbitration, select experienced and impartial mediators or arbitrators. Ensure that these third parties are well-versed in employment law and HR matters. Process implementation. Facilitate the ADR process in a structured manner, allowing parties to express their concerns and explore possible solutions. Maintain an environment that encourages collaboration and problem-solving. Documentation. Keep records of the ADR process, including agreements, decisions, and any communication. Ensure that parties involved understand the confidentiality of the process and its outcomes. Evaluation and continuous improvement. Periodically review the effectiveness of ADR methods in resolving disputes. Seek feedback from employees, HR personnel, and third-party facilitators to identify areas for improvement. Adjust ADR strategies based on lessons learned and changing organizational dynamics. Legal compliance. Ensure that the ADR processes you implement are in compliance with relevant employment laws and regulations. Provide an avenue for parties to seek legal counsel if they wish to before or during the ADR process. Promotion and recognition. Celebrate successful resolutions achieved through ADR. Highlight the benefits of ADR in maintaining a positive work environment and minimizing legal disputes. By following these steps, you can effectively adopt alternative dispute resolution in the context of human resources management and create a more harmonious and productive workplace. In a nutshell, ADR is like the HR department's toolkit for resolving workplace squabbles. It offers different ways to settle disagreements fairly, quickly, and with less fuss than going to court.